in in most of your movies you portray characters that are searching and Fitzcarraldo yeah. for impossible solutions and little Dieter learns to fly to overcome the past uh, this is about people who are looking for something at the end of the world uh, and uh, one of them says he's just slipped down until he fell to the bottom of the world another says we must jump off the margins of the map and meet where all the lines combine yes in in a way it's true uh, and of course uh, a very special type of uh, human beings is going down there of course many of them uh, scientists who who do cutting cutting edge science uh, climate uh, research but not only that there is biologists who are uh, actually diving under the ice in order to retrieve uh, single cell creatures that are very ancient and and they point in their dna sequences point to earliest forms of biological life on our planet or there are physicists who study neutrinos i mean in incredibly unfathomably small tiny particles that that go through the entire planet earth with ever touching anything and very rarely there is an occasion where where they would collide with a nucleus of an atom and uh, they have a good chance to detect these events because uh, you have sometimes from balloons that go up in the stratosphere and they would cover hundreds and hundreds of square miles without any electrical disturbances down there or they have a cubic kilometer of 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 pure ice on the south pole itself which um uh uh, conducts light very well and they, they have sensors to register events that are extremely rare and, and these are unfathomable uh, almost spirit beings out there. They are so tiny but of course a point understanding them means to understand the origins of our universe. So it's it's very very significant science that's being done there and it attracts a very special brand of uh, of human beings. And we've obviously come a long way from the time of Shackleton. You do include uh, some of that incredible dramatic footage yes. of the uh, that that uh, the fatal early expeditions, yeah, expeditions there. Uh, so now we've kind of learned how to conquer this area. Um, I think that was a, a, a ill-advised. Uh, concept in the early days to conquer uh, uh, the, the peak of the highest mountain in the world. They they spoke almost in military terms to be the first one to uh, to be on the North Pole or on the South Pole and this quest was, was somehow not, not very healthy. I believe today um, it has faded away and, and there, are, there are people out there who um, are explorers of a different kind. You also give us a different view of uh, Antarctica than we've gotten elsewhere. For example, your presentation of the penguins is quite different from the one that we got from the March <laughs> of the Penguins. Some of your penguins stray into the wild and never come back, no matter how, even if you try to get them to come back. And this is the first time I've ever heard about penguin prostitution. Well, I'm not talking about it, but there was a, a, a very in a way a hilarious encounter with a scientist who studies uh, penguin behavior since 15 or 20 years and he was not very much into conversation with human beings anymore and I tried to elicit something out of him and I asked him is there such a thing as derangement or insanity among penguins and he starts all of a sudden he warms up and speaks about some F forms of prostitution about penguins, females who collect rocks and steal them and, and build a little nest and, and, and they mate with the males. But, but their real intention is to get the rock. 